Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name's Alison. I'm an independent snapping up demonstrator and today I have this project for you. It's a unusual shaped box. It's a hexagonal base and the finished dimensions are three inches by four and a half inches tall which is 7.5 by 12 centimeters. Um, whilst it looks complicated it is actually very easy to make. So, if you're ready, then let's get started. So for this project, you will need a piece of cardstock which measures 9.5 by 7 inches, 25 by 17.5 centimetres, and six pieces of DSP, which measure 1.25 inches by 3 quarters of an inch, which is 3 by 2 centimetres. So, first thing we need to do is score our cardstock. So, on the short side, you need to score at two and a half and three and a half inches, which is six and eight point five centimeters. Turn, and then you're going to score at one and a half, three. Four and a half, six, seven and a half, and nine inches, which is four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four centimeters. Then what we need to do is along the top here, we need to make some little marks for some um, score lines we're going to do a little bit later. So at three quarters of an inch, two and a quarter, three and three quarters, five and a quarter, six and three quarters, and eight and a quarter inches, which is two, six, ten, fourteen, eighteen, and twenty-two centimetres. Okay, that's our scoring done. So, Going to fold and burnish all our score lines. Like so. So, with the um, marks along the top, what you need to do now is take a ruler and from the mark, you're going to draw a score line from the mark down to the corner of the top rectangle. Like so. So sides. So you've marked a triangle in the middle of the rectangle. So you do that with all the rectangles along the top. Now don't worry if you've missed any of the measurements. In the description box below there's a link to my blog and you'll find all the measurements there. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you aboard, so why not click on the subscribe button. Okay, so now what we're going to do is... The bottom rectangle here, the little skinny rectangle, we don't need that one, so we're going to cut that way completely. I'm going straight up and I've just wedged a little piece there. And then I'm going to wedge a little piece at the top there. 
and you need to cut up straight up to the first horizontal score line. want to do is gently just on the diagonal score lines just gently fold don't need to go too hard because it will naturally just bend into place so just gently it's a bit awkward Like so. Now we need to add our DSP. So I'm actually going to use liquid glue today. I don't normally, but it helps because it gives you a bit of wiggle room, as we say. Oops. So. Okay, so. on the DSP. Now I'm actually using here some DSP. This is actually retired unfortunately. It's lovely DSP but I'm on a bit of a mission to try and use up some some of my scraps. So I thought even though you can't buy this anymore, at least it does show you some of the lovely papers that you can get from stamping up and these are all going to go in the middle of the box like so say by using liquid glue it does give you a bit of wiggle room. Okay. Now <clears throat> I'm going to use tear and tape to put this together. Oops. So add some tape there. Just take the backing off. <clears throat> and you need to match up the size, like so. So that's our box starting to come together. Okay, so with the seam at the back, so this is the back and front. What you need to do now, and again I'm going to use liquid glue because this, this I find it easier. I'm going to bring over one side some liquid glue and the opposite flap you're going to bring over Now I'm going to put a little bit of glue just in the middle there. So bring the flap over. And match up these two. And then put a bit of glue in the middle. 
that. And the last one. Like so. so. That's the bottom. So now what I like to do is with my bone folder just push down. So that forms the box. So now if you push in at, at the top gently, as you see, that's what forms the top. And all the score lines naturally just fall into place. So what I'm going to do now is make the holes top. So pinch together and where you have the score line, di the diagonal score line, take a hole punch and punch a hole close to the edge where this, the score line is. Then you need to pinch the next two together. Do the same. The next two, and just work way all the way around the box. have all the holes so the final thing we need to do is thread our ribbon through so, so I still haven't got much stamping up ribbon I'm using some that I had in stock and what you need to do is thread the ribbon I think this is the piece that takes the longest threading the ribbon through as I say whilst the box looks complicated it is actually very easy to make and it's a bit different. One. So then all you need to do is just gently pull the ribbon. There you go, that closes the box. Oh, quick little bow. As I say, and different shape. So if you've got an ideal for bath bombs or candles, anything like that. So super little gift box. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial, and why not give it a go? As I say, there is a link in the description box below to my blog where you'll find all the measurements if you've missed any. And as I said, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, then just hit the subscribe button. So until next time. Thanks again for watching and see you again very soon. Bye.